that our guests. guest. Uh, do you have any questions to ask from any of our participants? You're very welcome to you know, take a few minutes to ask any questions. I don't hear what Manuel said. Okay. I'm a coach, so it's a um, mindset coach, but also I'm a teacher and leader in the school. Can I ask? Oh, yeah, please, yeah, one each. I just wanted to know because you're talking a lot about increased confidence and self awareness. I want to know how that happens. So, what, what happens in the course that allows you to feel that? We'd like to ask that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I don't like to talk about it. But, um, no, 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 I'm not going to stop. Okay. But, you know what? Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie, um, what it did, I had my at stake, which was humble, heroic, spectacular and empowering. And I don't know, like, you don't realise things that have happened to you as a child have really got a big impact on you later on in life. Now, I, th I used to go like acting and I've got dyslexia, I've got ADHD, plus I wear glasses and all those things I've tried to push away in my life. And last week, we had to talk about doing this, the coaching, and it showed me that this fear that I'd pushed all the way down had just surfaced up and come out of nowhere, and I just started to cry and let it go, and I was quite shocked as well. It was just it was what, really shocking, and it's made me see that, you know, you don't realise how much fears, fears we hold on, as Denise said, how much fears we hold on to, and, and letting go, and it's given me like so much strength and courage within myself. I mean, there's times I've had not little hissy fits. I'll say like the inner child's come out, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this, but I've done it. And I must, I've got to thank Denise because if it weren't for Denise, I would never be here. To be fair, she pushed me and prompted me. So, and so did Chris and um, Ken. So I'm just grateful for the opportunity. And it's a, it's a really, really good, good course that I would tell people. <laughs> Because I don't know anything about the session, so how how long has the course been running? Oh, six months. Yeah, about six months. We started like, our first session on eighth of December. Yeah. We got the grant in I think September. We interviewed people, used it to help us promote it and stuff. Yeah. So we started eighth of December. We did an initial session. Like, we did an initial session just to get people. To that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. And then next we did a, and that's to get everyone to go. That's had the twelve people. And we got everyone confirmed, they would go ahead, and then one person dropped out, and another person dropped out, and then Emmanuel applied, or when she applied before, I said, sorry, the course is sold out. I had to call out, but actually, Emmanuel got space in all the time, and she came. So we had a first session, of the first of 10 sessions we took from the girl. It was supposed to every other week, but then next following week, everything shut down, so we had to go on online. Uh, and these workshops are live workshops uh, designed to be practiced so online. So, some of the core bits of it? So, it was, it was, it was um, more looking into yourself. Yeah. And well, to Chris is going to do a bit of it for you. Yeah. You can actually yeah, 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 do it. I would say it's more looking into yourself. Into yourself. Some of very, I, I, I yeah, love it. just inspired yeah. by all of you because you're all inspired. I'm thinking, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, yeah, I think for me, it was more looking to myself and being a parent of, or yeah, mother of six, I put myself down a lot, you don't realise that you do these things and it made me come out of my comfort zone, even the times when I didn't want to, there were days like Tuesdays I'd be like, oh, God, I can't do that, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, but I still persevered and I think it was the consistency, um, the fact that we're in the team, um, we're all pushing each other, and the fact that we had, you know, coaches as well. So that all pushed out their mentors. That helped as well. So it really helped me come out of my shell. Yeah. Felix, yeah. yeah. I love you. Any other questions? So what was in the course that got you all the resources go? When you talked about self-confidence, I think for all of us, we're not the same. The people that you see here today ain't the people that walked in here when we started. I get that feeling. Yeah. So what made so, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> what's the secret? For me, yeah, yeah, for me it's, 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 it's trusting the process, like I'm going to be looking at that. I mentioned something 
Ken was like, we would be saying it through the WhatsApp group, we don't understand. And he was like, you don't need to understand, just do the work. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to understand, you'll yeah. get it once you're doing it. So it's very experiential. You had to, like he was like, do the impossible, be unreasonable. What's your at stake? So we had to think, what's at stake? What happens if we don't do this? Oh, you know, what do I need? Right at the beginning, we've got to have an at stake. Mine was brave confident, courageous, and as soon as you named yourself that, that you started saying affirmations, I am great, I'm confident, I'm courageous, and then you start taking on things that that kind of person would do, and you're like, wow, and then all of a sudden you start doing things, and then when you get to like, well done, you're like, oh, we'll do a bit more, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, oh, they would see me, I was away with it, going, 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 but unfortunately, my grandfather took ill, like, towards the end of the course, that's my auntie's dad, so, you know, we supported each other even through that. And even on the way, I was going, what would Ken say? I would phone Ken, I would phone Gladys. Even through that, and I was like, oh, my granddaughter's dying, what am I going to do? And Ken's like, well, just be there for your aunt, be your at stake, and you can cry when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. And that's why, then that gave me the power, the strength to support my aunt going through something like that. And we got there, and, you know, we read the Bible with my with his wife. And, you know, I don't think I would have had the strength to do that if it wasn't for having a little chin wag with Ken and Gladys and my body. I'm going, And she's like, listening to all that. I was like, thanks for letting me cry, Gladys. I'm going, yeah. I'm like, this, right? this, right? this, right? and, and, and how do you think you're going to keep the, all of what you've learned going? going? Well, you know what? It's amazing. It just pops into your head. You'll be going back in the day and you're like, this is my mistake. <laughs> you know, like, what, what's important to me? What's my value? What's my mission? Or something will happen, I'll be scared and I'll face that tiger. You know, or get on the court, be a player in your own life. All these little slogans are in my head. So I've really gone out there, developed my program and done it with women outside. As soon as they could let us out, I was like, right, I'm outside now. Do my nature coaching outdoors. So it's, it's a continuous thing. It's all things that I want you to do anyway, but I put them as my, you know, my, what I want to get out of this course. So I've done that and more. Never thought I'd be an international speaker. I never thought I'd, you know, attend Nicole's wonderful acting class one day. We supported a few members of our support her. Now that wasn't expected. <coughs> you know, working out what people's casting types was totally out of my channel, but I loved every minute of it. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. And you were the stars <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's another profession. <laughs> <laughs> it's better that we've all supported each other. Manuela and um, Valanto, they're, they're fellow coaches. And if I had enjoyed these courses, I wouldn't have met either of them. They've got the same dream that I've got. The V's is like doing the things that I used to do before, oh, with the holistic well being and all that stuff. Sabrina's been supporting Denise, she's supporting me, we're all supporting each other. Gladys has been my body. Rashid's been building these partner boxes and posting them in the group. And it's just, We've all been feeding off each other and it's just been amazing. I don't think I could have got through the last year without all these people in this room. Do you know what I mean? Even when my granddad died and I nearly left the group, I still knew that they were all there thinking, what the hell's happened to right there? But do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's been amazing. And the confidence is I was scared of public speaking, not I just jumped up again to talk yes. about it. <laughs> your, your question was what? What were you going to ask? I did ask. Yeah, what was it? Okay. Did you ask your question? <laughs> you got the same thing. All right. Can I ask one more question? Yes. Somebody, I, it might have been the time, but I'm not sure who, spoke about speaking their truth. Nicole. That was Nicole. Oh, was <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what comes out now. <laughs> And to them, somebody somewhere said, speak, speak, speak your truth. Mm. And I was like, what does it actually mean? Mm. And for you to bring it up now, what? Because I was saying to Anthony, if, you, if people speak their truth mm. all the time, you'd be hurting people. Or have I got it wrong? It's personal, isn't it? It's what speaking your truth means to you. Mm. And I guess to me, it is just actually being as confident to speak about the shit stuff going on in my life as it is the glossy, great stuff. Yeah, so what we say is, uh, well, in my, in my course, what I say is, you know, like, be authentic. So when I say authentic, I mean, 
we're all authentic at some levels where we cover it up and you know put on a nice exterior exterior view so in the course we asked them to put all that outside the way and actually tell the truth because it's a confined group it's a confidential group and it's a supportive group so the thing is to drop all the facades out and actually you know let it all out as they say so that it's it's possible to deal with all that stuff because when you when you hide it all up and and pretend everything's fine nothing can be dealt with so we really looked in depth so in a course in in a session it doesn't look like what it does look like it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of looking internally and looking at asking yourself questions uh, and then looking at why am I not successful in this area or what's going to what's happened in my life that I can't stand up and speak to somebody so we look at all those stuff it's not easy to look at but you have to otherwise you know you're going to you're going to keep going and doing that so course is very deep in terms of going internally and looking in, in words and looking at to see how you got put together uh, from your past because we all have a past and our past makes our, our present and our future so we look into what, what, what went on to make that happen and once you get a bit of a clue into it then the whole thing unravels and you become completely freed up from what happened to us from our past you know and that gives us a freedom and you become naturally confident so one of the things we use is we use these things called at stakes. So when I say an at stake, most people think an at stake is like a possession or some money or something. What I say is that an at stake is how you feel when you're, when you're, when you're fully alive and fully freed up. You know, we all want, want something in our life and it's a feeling rather than a possession. You know, when we are really fulfilled, Maybe because we're doing the job we want to do, whatever, but we, you know, so we bring that at stake where it's kind of a way of being in life. You know, people talk about, we're called human beings, but not human doings. So we do a lot of things, but we never think about who, are, who, are, who we are being while we're doing something. So we look into that, it's called ontology. So we look into who you're being in life that gives you the issues and circumstances that you have that makes it a problem for you. And then ask you to unravel yourself from within and then you know, put it together in a different way. So it's not an ex like, like uh, somebody said, it's a very practical thing for each person and they bring their life to it and then open up and bring everything out. And then as you work through that, all of a sudden it becomes clear and things unravel. And then all of a sudden you lose baggage or lose your self-consciousness or you lose your fear. And obviously fear is there all the time. It's like a natural process, but you lose the fear that you had of being afraid, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's interesting what you said about before, because you can't always do that in life, can you? You can't always just say what you want to say, or if you do, you kind of... <laughs> yeah, usually in normal life, you, you know, you, you know, when you say all that stuff, you upset people. For the point of this is to say that stuff in a way that it doesn't... It's, it's for you to free up rather than upset other people, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's for you to free yourself up rather than upset people. So you're not saying to upset people, you're saying your truth in a way that this is authentic for me and so they can be authentic for themselves too. They can tell their truth for themselves too. So it's not me telling you your truth, it's me telling you my truth rather than this, what, this should be what you should be like. Then when I do that, then you could do that for yourself. Then both of us can come out of our shelves and be open and ourselves. And the, the other, the other um, once you've kind of done that, the other bit of that is then being true to yourself in terms of what you're taking on and what's important to you and the things that you'd, you'd love to achieve in your life because that's the key thing we've been doing in this work is helping people to get focused on the things that they want to do, that they're passionate about, that are important to them. And when you do that, instead of being focused on perhaps some of the issues that hold us back, that, that really, um, that, that really sort of... Really, 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 really.